The orbital cabinet was created to radically improve splitter cabinet utility. It provides significant improvements in the following areas. Fiber management of installed splitter modules, easy upgrade or replacement of splitter modules, modular and scalable deployment of customers. The Orbital 288 Fiber Distribution Cabinet offers a revolutionary circuit provisioning platform in fiber to the premise networks. The cabinet is optimized to support 288 homes in a small footprint. The Orbital 288 is sized at 36 inches tall by 24 inches wide by 18 inches deep. The orbital cabinet has both front and rear access doors. The orbital cabinet can either be pole mounted or pad mounted, offering maximum flexibility in various deployment environments. Convenient record keeping for management and reference is easily accessed inside the front door. The fiber ports are labeled in both the front and the rear for clear identification and troubleshooting of fiber circuits. The unit is configured with feeder and distribution cable stubs that are pre-connectorized at the factory. The distribution fibers are patched in the rear of the cabinet. The feeder fibers are placed through the faceplate from the rear to the front with custom adapters which provide structural security. The feeder fibers are terminated into a blank adapter plate on the front of the faceplate. Traditional block matrix splitter patching systems require complex routing of many long jumpers in confined areas often resulting in a tangled mess as customers are randomly connected. The orbital fiber distribution cabinet solves the usual routing problems with its radial patching field. Leveraging the geometric simplicity of the circle, one short jumper size can serve all patching scenarios with minimal slack management requirements. The orbital cabinet also has spare parking for up to 128 connections and a pass-through feature which allows for fibers to conveniently pass through the faceplate onto the next cabinet. The orbital cabinet can use MPO splitter modules to serve new customers. The MPO splitter module supports split ratios from 1 by 8 to 1 by 32 with ultra low loss performance. The MPO splitter module also fits all orbital cabinet configurations, the tri-box and the 7X LGX shelves. Installing a module is simple. First, remove the feeder fiber from the feeder parking plate. And then, for protection, either place a dust cap on the connector or plug the connector into an available adapter. Remove the blank adapter plate and install the splitter module. Place the fiber into the module's green input adapter. This essentially provisions the module for operation. Provisioning a circuit on the orbital is a clean and simple operation. To install service for customers, you can use an all-way flex MPO fanout as shown. Connect the MPO portion of the fan out to the appropriate port on the splitter. Lock in the black transition block into an available transition clip. Route the fan out fibers to the required positions on the orbital faceplate. Be sure to always route through the center core region of the faceplate. This procedure will allow for the easiest fiber management. What happens if there's a splitter module failure years after the installations are complete? What if you need to upgrade your existing cable plant to support CWDM modules? Competitor cabinets offer no reasonable methodology for upgrades. The orbital cabinet makes this process very reasonable.
Begin by removing the feeder fiber and applying a dust cap to the connector end. Or plug the connector into an available adapter. Remove the MPO connectors and place dust caps on the open connectors. Place dust caps on the MPO connectors. The module is now ready to be removed. Insert the new module into place. Reconnect the connectors back into their original positions. If you need to replace a fan out, the orbital design allows the user to perform small pull tests and fish fibers through the patch panel. This is not generally feasible in block matrix cabinets. If a module requires replacement or upgrade, the technician can unplug and cap the MPO fan outs. Using the pull test, the user can trace the fiber connections and remove the fan out. Using a new fan out, the user now can easily reconnect the MPO fan out and feeder fiber. The orbital cabinet comes in two other size configurations, one that serves 160 homes and one that serves 576 homes. The orbital 160 cabinet leverages the size and functionality of the orbital 288 cabinet with an optimized face plate. The orbital 576 combines two 288 cabinets offering a dual radius configuration. In summary, the orbital cabinet provides several substantial improvements to standard splitter cabinet technology. It offers improved fiber management of installed splitter modules, easy upgrade or replacement of splitter modules, and modular and scalable deployment of customers. These improvements can decrease time to provision and service customers by 30%.